guys welcome back to the channel sonia's adventure my returning subscribers my new subscribers thanks for being here even the haters because when you like when you share when you comment good or bad it helps the video so i appreciate all your presence here guys look at my beautiful flowers i got it for mothers Day. i hope you all had a wonderful mothers Day. the biological mom the stepmom the grandmom the dads who are cause both mom and dad when the mothers run away or for whatever reason migration or whatever reason they have to go away and the dad have to step in and play both roles we salute salute you not only on mother's day but every day of the year you know it's just that for commercial reason mainly we highlight that dear and we appreciate it we make the most of it i hope i have made the most of it and i hope you guys have made the most of it your kids made you feel special on that day so salute to all of us guys let me touch on this topic because it is so hot about d and sheen turning up at naman Mandley international airport and <laughs> she and not even not being able to board the plane to go to turks and caicos because he lack a visa to do so if Shane is traveling with D, and that's the issue, I personally know that that was staged, scripted, a prank, because a seasoned traveler like D, who has traversed over 41 countries, the first thing you do when, th when you're thinking about traveling outside of your country, you look up about the... um visa requirements because a lot of countries in this world we know that they have visa requirements and then there are some countries that are exempt you need to do your research before you travel anywhere you don't just turn up and buy a ticket even the novice of the novice of travelers know that much more a d mowango who has traveled over 41 countries Ah, she would make a mistake like that. Shane is on it. Shane is in on this prank. Drama for views. Hmm? When I when I came to America, I came on a green card. And I wanted to go to this country so bad they call it the Rock of Gibraltar. And the only place I traveled at the time was from Jamaica to America. No, no, no experience in traveling anywhere. And I knew at the time that I had to look up the visa requirement, look up what the weather is like, look, look up what type of money they use there, if they use pound or if they use US dollars or if they have a local currency or whatever. Those are things that you seek about. When you're putting your plans in place to travel. And I see people out here saying, Oh, Shane is embarrassed. Oh, they could do that. Oh, Kino touched the bullet. Oh, they did this to make Kino jealous. Nothing like that. That was staged for views. But this one was not a good one. Because a lot of people believe truly that they bought the ticket. And that Shane did not get to go because they require a visa. Come on, people. If, if you've been watching D, you know D is a seasoned traveler. D don't make those kind of mistakes. Mm? Even I've seen people in other places say they go in places and they didn't get through to go. And the overwhelming comment was, why you didn't ask D what are the requirements? Why you didn't ask Mara what are the requirements? Because people know that they know what to do. Hmm? Yeah, so I wanted to visit the Rock of Gibraltar and I was on a green card. But um, some people believe that when you have even an American green card, that you can turn up in other people's country even when a visa is required that think that you will get entry it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that 
the American citizen, the American passport is what gives you entry into that country without you having to require a visa if the country requires a visa. I'm going to put it up here. You go on the internet, everything is there. Turks and Caicos Island. Countries that are exempt. Antigua. Aruba. Montserrat is a British, uh, a British territory. Places like Cayman Islands. What is going on here? It's a British territory. Bermuda. Bar Barbados. Bahamas. Bahamas and Bermuda. Not Barbados. Um, I didn't see Barbados up there. Um... Trinidad and Tobago is up there, but Trinidad and Tobago is a republic. Countries that are exempt out, outside of the first world countries like Spain and Ireland and um, some more places um, that are exempt. But Jamaica is not one of those countries that are exempt. So if you're going to travel... The information is up there. There is no need that you would go and purchase a ticket. Turn up at the airport and then say you can't board because you don't have a visa pass. That is the first thing you do when you're thinking about leaving your country to go to another person's country. So I know. I saw the videos when they come out and people were saying, Oh, D has... um." given a trip to a jamaican man some topics when i see them up here i don't jump at them right away i, I wait to see a backup video from somebody else or maybe the person might put up another video before i jump come and make a reaction to it because a lot of times they stage things it's prank it's scripted to create drama whether the reactor is going to talk about it in a positive light, they're going to get a negative spin or they might be in between. It's publicity for the video. But this one was a bad one. This one was a bad one because a lot of Jamaicans, a lot of these subscribers, you can see it in the comment section that they're not pleased this thing keep turning up on the screen they're not pleased with this one but i don't feel any way about it because i know shane is in on it they cut out the part of the video where you know they go up to the ticket counter they cut that part out and at the at the very end you see them saying oh oh um shane didn't get to to board because of this visa requirement but i'm saying for us to really not me for people to really uh, people are going to question the the truthfulness of this video because you didn't show that part you could at least show where you go up to the ticket counter and they're questioning you and so on and so forth. That part cut out altogether. You couldn't show that part because it's a prank. And we're not going to even mention about the suitcase and the black knapsack bag um, that Shane was carrying. There was no suitcase there for Shane. Those, all those bags belong to D. And even when D was showing inside her room and I saw two suitcases one of the biggest suitcases it looked like she just sent back Shane with it and then when you look at Shane's demeanor you can see that Shane was on it he was not embarrassed in any way it's you know like when you when you're disappointed you shrug your shoulders you drop your shoulders your facial expression you look sad you look disappointed nothing like that nothing like that you can see that shane was in on it and by now you know we support these youtubers i've said it before and it came off as negative the very first time when i said it that these people are really in this thing for views there's 
you can't take everything that they say for gospel truth you understand they make up a lot of stories they'll tell you the things that they know can charm you about your country i don't say they don't is not in love with jamaica i feel like she has a vibe with jamaica and jamaicans but you can't take every i hear people say oh this says she bought a car oh i hear this says she's she's going to buy what is this give me a break damn D say she's going to buy a house in Jamaica. How D say she not leaving, guys? You're coming to people's country on a visitor's visa. Um, you have to renew it like every three months. You can't just come there and just stay there indefinitely like that. You know, you can't. Well, Jamaica, everybody come to Jamaica and hide out and do that thing because jamaica is so free it's just so open but if you're by abiding by the law that is on the books like every three months when you come in on a certain type of visa you have to go and renew it if you want longer stay and certain things you can't acquire unless you have residency or citizenship in the country but people just behave so naive to certain things. They just believe everything that these YouTubers say. They will butter you up to get your views and your subscription. And it is full time. You people acknowledge this. If you've been watching them over and over and over, you should know what to believe and what not to believe. Shane is in on it. Shane is scripted in it she is very much aware that he was not going anywhere <laughs> it's just for views guys d she is not the new man she knew d from day one even before d came to jamaica she was watching d you see this whole saga where people this whole situation where people trying to make it into a saga that Oh, Kino has dumped D. Oh, D has dumped Kino. It, 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 something is strained. Nothing is strained between them. There is nothing up with D and Esther and Kino. They're just flipping the script for you guys. Because people been saying, Oh, everywhere D is Kino is there. Everywhere Kino go, D is there. D is always in the front seat. Uh, Kino always carrying her back. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Kino and D, Kino and D. So D come with Esther now and show Esther in the midst. She moving around with Esther. Then there come these people again. Oh, Esther is I just... I don't know what happened there. Oh, Esther is just a coy. Yeah, she just come in with, with Esther so that uh, we will take the attention off of Kino. But she and Kino is really into something. Guys, I hear another reactor say, what do you people want? What you want? You have to change up the script or it gets monotonous, it gets boring. And a lot of times we are the, the reactors, we are the subscribers. We are the commenters. We are the ones who give these people ideas so they change the script on us. If you people going to be out here talking, oh, she's always with Kino. Oh, where is Esther? Um, she need to broaden her circle. We don't want her to go away with just one story about Jamaica, which is something that I agree very much with. So, Kino take coco girl and she intake d esther rests for a week and so she's going off with farm girl jess and she has gone off with nisi it's a different script altogether different personality she's going different places seeing different things you know just different highlights of the country and it's people your people have said it to her that you need to widen your circle. You need friends in different areas of the country. Jamaica is a very, is a country that has a class system. Oh, every day she's in the ghetto. 
Oh, so you want some uptown friends? You want some friends from Barbican, some friends from Cherry Garden, um, friends who work in the bank, maybe some school teachers, some whatever, whatever. Change up your circle. And that's what she does. Farm girl Jess has property in Portland. Nisi look like she has a higher level of education than maybe some of the other people that she's moving around with. Going different places, seeing different things. So it's a good look. Nothing is wrong with it for her to change the script. And we are the ones who give her the idea. But you people are still complaining. Oh, where is Kino? Something is wrong. Huh? Come on, people, chill. So that's why you get this now. <laughs> that's why you get this now. That's why you all get this now. She and she and moving up and down. She and is very much in, uh, in, in it. It's in and the prank. So don't feel bad for she and guys. Don't feel bad for she and. She and is in on it. She and is not embarrassed. She and don't feel no way because all she and was supposed to do was to go and drop off the, at the airport and prank us. That how he was going to the Turks and Caicos and he didn't get to go. And Dino just acting all sad and she's not bubbly and whatever because she's she's feeling bad that she and didn't get to go. Remember, guys, remember. Remember what D, how D prank us, D and Kino pranked us in February when she went to Kenya to gift her mother that car. When Kino went to the airport, they build up, they build up the, the excitement. Oh, people are saying, oh, she's going to get engaged. She's going to get married and it's Kino and D and Kino is going to Kenya and Kino packed his bag and he was really going to Trinidad. They, they got me with that one. Usually I can see through it. But that one, I was fooled. And in the end, D came out and said, Thank you, Kino, because the two of them planned it. Mm? The two of them planned it. Don't you guys remember? Just, just in February. It's so don't send up your blood pressure. Okay. She and is she and is in on it. Alright, guys. Um it's a lot of scripted things. You know, on this YouTube street. Don't become hypertensive or flustered because you see some little things happening, you know? Just Watch the videos and then usually you can tell what's what, you know. Yeah, um, even with this Jamaican uncle and Marwa, I'm going to come back to it. I'm coming with another video because this land was not a gift. And I have the evidence. Usually I don't put clips up here. But I come in with the clips to show you. That they are. Both Mara. Gitriba. And Jamaica uncle. They are all lying. That Mara gave that land as a gift to this man. He bought that land. Gitriba was the one. Who bought the land. For Jamaican uncle. And Gitriba name. Is on the deed. And I'm going to find the clips and I'm going to put it here because I've downloaded the video. So guys, thanks for watching. Please watch the video to the end. It's a little bit long, I know. Watch it to the end. Watch the ads. Subscribe, like, share, comment. If you, if you come up here and you put up any nasty comment disrespecting me, I'm just going to delete it. I'm not going to fight with you guys in the comment section. But please leave a comment. Let me let me know if you agree with me on this one. Sheen is in on it with D. It's a, it's a scripted video. Scripted from start to end. Sheen is okay. All of them are okay.
there's no friction nowhere between key no d uh, um s none of them they're not having no issue they're just playing no drama for us you know so we can keep talking anyway i'm going to stop my talking right now i see you in my next video bye bye have a good rest of the day all right guys take care love you all mwah, 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 mwah.